guys! Today we are doing Mask Monday, um, which is super exciting. We have two masks to talk about, just like always. Um, this is the four, four, four Mask Monday, I think. We have been doing this for quite a while. If you've missed out on the others, then go check those out. Um, we have talked about several masks, and some yes. work, and some do not. That's um, right. We did two. We've done two masks, and. Yes, you'll find out if they work or not work. How we like them. Um, All right, so before we actually get into our thoughts on these two masks, we do want to remind you we have a current giveaway going on, our holiday giveaway, and we'll have that linked um, at the end of the video so you can go check that out. But also, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you're notified every time that we upload because we are doing 24, 24 days videos of Glam. Every day leading up until Christmas. Yay! So to start us off, this is the Panda Eye Brightening Mask. It hydrates and soothes. It says dark circles and tired eyes making you look like a panda. Hydrogel eye mask and a cute panda print to brighten and revitalize eyes. So, this says it is cute and fun, revitalizes eyes, soothes, and hydration. So, this is the brand Sue, New York. Um, there it is, like right down yeah. there. It's weird that the brand isn't like at the, at top, the top or something. Right. Like one of the first things you see. I will say, it is very cute. It is, it is so very cute. Fun. And so since stinky. it was a, I mean, you can't even really tell what it was now, but since it is a hydrogel, it stuck to my face uh -huh. so much better than oh, like yeah. a normal like sheet mask, which was absolutely great. Um, as for revitalizing eyes, <laughs> I don't really know that it like I... revitalized my eyes. <laughs> I, don't, I don't really think so. I think it... At the most, I think it moisturized. I, I, I felt it. like it did moisturize, but it did hydrate. Yes. Um, however, so like I put it on, but in order to really get it, I was so afraid to push it down, you know, on my bags. I didn't have so an speak. issue. I, well, I With thought that you probably wouldn't. Yeah. Your, your features and everything are so tiny, but, um, I mean, it, it was on really good, but it just, I felt like if I pushed it down here, that on the okay, edges, so the outer edges of my eyes were going to be, like, get the, the serum. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, so, tip for that, if, you're act, if you actually feel like you can't get it around your eyes or whatever, typically in the thing, like in the little packet, there's always extra. Um, so, yes. pour some out and dab it on your eyes or sometimes um the mask Does like it. lifts at your nose so just take a little bit of this and put it on there and what i always like to do as well is rub it all on my mm -hmm. neck and chest like the remainder of whatever's in the little bag and one thing that i did like it, it felt so good while i was on and i was just like i just wish it like went ahead and covered the whole my face. whole face, you know, I mean, it did feel super hydrating. It felt so good, but yeah, I didn't notice any, um, necessarily revitalizing my eyes or like any difference in my eyes afterwards. Yes. Yeah. It, um, it just was basically a moisturizing yeah. eye mask. Which is not bad. Yeah, um, no, I'm, not bad at all. And especially I looked it up, um, and I was like, because before we started filming, I was kind of saying that the price, um, which in a, a lot of times the price yeah. is going to differ whether the product is worth it or not. Um, because if this was like a, a, a pack of two for $20, yeah. I would never recommend it. But I looked it up on Walmart and it says that it's a dollar, but then it says a dollar fifty nine a piece. So it's very confusing. It's either a dollar or, or two dollars, two dollars for two or a dollar fifty nine. Maybe, a piece. maybe. That's kind of. Yeah. How I'm interpreting that. Yeah. So I think a dollar a piece or a dollar fifty nine. I mean, I would is, I would purchase. Yeah. For that, just you know, Especially, the way that it felt. I can't even imagine like if you have like a little kid, oh. a small child, and you put this on in front of them, and you like they pretend to be a panda or something. Like yeah. that would be the cutest thing. That would be. So. If it didn't scare them. 
Yeah, I might do that, but... <laughs> but this is so stinking cute. I mean, it yeah. makes you look like a panda bear. So cute. So, so cute. So, moving on to our second mask. So, this is the Lemon Verbena Clay Mask by Ibom. Ibom? I don't know. It deep cleanses pores. It says, Lemon Verbena Clay Mask cleanses skin's impurities and removes dead... Skin cells while skin soothing skin. <laughs> so it says sebum and pore care. I'm not sure exactly what that means, but anyway, soothing care, rice and red bean scrub. So um, basically, you want to clean your face um, before any mask. You really before, want to clean yeah, your face. you want to cleanse your face thoroughly. Um, some say to put put on the mask after you've done like a toner or something. This one did not, um, but it says to um, apply an appropriate amount. And I really- I hate when they say apply appropriate amount. What's an appropriate amount? Well, to <laughs> me, I wanted to make sure, cause I knew that it was a clay mask. I wanted to make sure that I got enough on my face. Yeah, but to... does that mean like go in thicker or I, I think... just a thin layer? Like what is a, what is the I guess appropriate it's, amount? It's user, you know, like whatever they use. Yeah, I put on quite the amount. I did too. <laughs> so I was like, appropriate? That must mean a large amount. Yeah. So that's what I did. So um, anyway, this is after five to 10 minutes. I think I left mine on just a little bit longer than that. It says rinse um, and gently massage with lukewarm water. So um, I did put on <laughs> yeah. quite an amount. And you know, I love whenever you feel it drying and mm -hmm. kind of really pulling your skin and stuff. And I waited until it was completely dried down because I didn't, I left it on for about, I think it was in between like 10 and 12 minutes and it was still like on my cheeks, like right yeah. here, it wasn't quite dry. And then right in here, it wasn't quite and dry. On my chin, it wasn't quite dry after that amount of time. So I did leave it on just a little bit extra and then, you know, rinsed it off with the warm water. Um, and then I sat down to my mirror and I had all these little black specks from the mask really? that didn't wash off all I the way. I made sure to rinse everything off. Something that I actually loved about this mask was the fact that it had exfoliant in it because my skin is super sensitive. So harsher exfoliants like um, Dr. Brandt, I can't use those because they're so fine. Uh -huh. um, but since this isn't like a fine harsh exfoliant i this didn't break me out which i absolutely love um it's it's really hard for someone like me to find an exfoliant mm -hmm. but when i do i love it yeah. <laughs> i'm like yes thank you for that yes. product i loved that too um but i did you know like i mean i have to have glasses except when i'm looking in my 10 times magnifying mirror <laughs> But I washed it all off and sat down and it looked like I had everything off and then I looked in my mirror and had all these little black micro beads and stuff. Anyway, um, or the rice and red beans or whatever that it said in that. Yeah, that's an interesting. I, it like, is interesting. Rice However, and red bean scrub. Yeah. It's like a Mexican scrub. <laughs> so if you love Mexican food, then use this mask and it will do wonders for you. <laughs> but when I took it off, like I wanted to sit down, like I sat down in my mirror before I put it on and examined mm -hmm. my skin. And then once I took it off and sat down in front of the mirror to examine my skin, like my nose, the pores were noticeably smaller. My nose looked like, like all of this, you know, kind of T-zone where you tend to get larger pores and things like that. It all looked like silk. Like it all looked so just like a baby skin it yeah. was so you know but um so I really I really like it I don't know what the cost is on it I don't know I'm gonna quickly look up the cost because imagine they're like $50 it's $50 for this size right here I think I this is probably say, a deluxe sample size yeah but I would have if it were that much I would have to say <laughs> so for reference this is a one ounce um, but for a 3.88 fluid ounce, um, it is $19. So that's not, not too bad. Yeah, that's not too terrible for it. Because mask. I did use quite a lot and I probably have enough to do two more masks. I hope I it. have enough to do like so, two more, maybe 
free if I'm lucky because it is really good. It is really um, good. And my skin, like, it feels so, I just pulled my own hair, it feels so soft um, after I do an exfoliant and mm -hmm. to be able to find an exfoliant for my skin type is not easy. So I'm really into it. I recommend it. Um, and I recommend this. Yes. It's not going to do everything that it claims, but I think that it does enough, enough for, for the price. Yes, exactly. So, and it's cute. And you it can't is. really beat that. Especially so. if you love panda bears or anything like that. Yeah. I mean, this is absolutely adorable. Absolutely adorable. So that's going to be it for this video. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Um, make sure that you are subscribed. Um, we will actually have a couple of videos right over here. One of them will probably be the holiday giveaway. And um, the subscribe button is right down here. And until our next video, bye. bye.